Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to extend the reach of your integrations using Public Connect. In this video, we're going to connect Job Form with Public Connect to extend the reach to more integrations that are not available on Job Form. This way, we can automate further our forms. So, let me show you how this is accomplished on this video right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form to show you how easy this is to automate your process with Pally Connect. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a brand new form. So we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna select classic form for this demo. And let's drag in some basic fields. So let's open up the form elements and let's drag in the name, the email. Let's choose a drop down menu. And what else can we add? Let's add a scale rating. Okay, these could be any element that you want to use. We're just using this as demo purposes. Let's name these so we can find them later on. So in this case, we'll be, do you like our service? Okay, something really simple. And we're gonna say yes and no. We're gonna use this to later automate. Type in a question, how do you Okay, this looks good. Now, how are we gonna connect with Pally Connect? Well, let's go into settings. We're gonna go into integrations and we're going to search for web hooks. Okay, here's our web hooks. Now let's go retrieve our web hook from Pally Connect. There is a free plan that's available on Pally Connect that's pretty generous in case you want to use that or there are plans that they have available. Now, how are we gonna get started? Let's go create a workflow. Let's name this JotForm Workflow. Let's go ahead and create it. You can name it whatever you like. And let's search for the first trigger. Trigger means that something has to happen first. And this is the first thing that's gonna happen. The trigger is going to be that when someone submits a JotForm, it's gonna trigger that to receive it here on Pavli. So we're gonna search also for webhook over here. And here is our webhook link. Let's go ahead and copy it. Let's go back to JotForm. Let's paste our webhook, complete integration. Finish, okay. Webhook is now connected on JotForm using Pavly. Let's go back to Pavly. And what we're gonna do is it's waiting for a webhook response. So it's waiting for JotForm to send us a response so Pavly can read it, okay. So let's go into jot form. Let's open up our form, open a new tab, and we're gonna fill it out once so there's information that Pally is gonna receive. So in this case, I'll just put my name. Do you like our service? We'll say yes, and we'll call, qualify it as a five. And the email. Let's go ahead and submit it. Go back to Pally, and it should receive that information using the webhook. There we go, it just received it. And here's all the information that jot form is sending to Pally. So we have the form ID, submission ID, the webhook URL, the IP, the, from, the form title, pretty, the username, the, the raw request, a lot of information that we have available. But here's the fields that we have available. So the name, first name, last name, the do you like job form, we said yes. How did we qualify it? A five, the email, and other information. Okay. Now that we've received this, we're ready to automate, okay? So anytime that someone fills out a jot form submission, it's gonna send it over here, okay? So what can we do? Well, there's several things that you can integrate. Remember, we said that we can extend the reach of your integrations. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go back here on jot form. Let's go into our settings, integrations. If you don't find the integration that you need, well, that way we're gonna extend it using Public Connect. So in this case, let's click on the action, which is what's going to happen once the trigger is triggered, okay? So there's several applications that's available here on Pally Connect that lets you further extend the reach of your integrations. For example, there's Zoom, there's Gmail, ChatIP, Telegram Bot, Google Drive, Slack, Airtable, Twilio. Some of these you will see that are available on JotForm and there's no need to use Pally Connect but other ones are not on, on JotForm, so we can use them here. Let's just say, for example, hmm, Automizy, okay? That's an email marketing service. Let's go see if it's available over here. 
Okay, automize is not available. So that could be a potential use case. So what's going to happen with automize? This is an email marketing service application. And what we're going to do is, for example, let's create a let's see, find a contact, create or update a contact with custom fields. So that's what we're going to do when someone fills out our job form. It's going to send it to our email marketing service. OK, let's go ahead and connect. Let's use my connection that's available already. OK, we're connected and automatically we reached our list that are, are, are available already. So we could just say that you want to send it to the YouTube update. OK, and this is where it's going to grab the variable from our job form fields, the email. Let's go to our web hook and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to select the email. This is going to be changing every single time that someone fills out the submission. So automatically the email that they use, it's going to be inputted right here. So that's going to be automated. We don't have to do anything manually after the setup. OK, what's going to happen with the status of that contact? In this case, it's going to be active. Are we going to tag it? Um, we could say we could tag it if we like. We're going to say no name. These are tags that we grab from the automize system. Adding a tag, a company. If we had a field where we asked for the company, well, we can add that variable right here. So the first name that's again in the web hook from the job form that we received. So let's search for the first name. Here it is. The last name. Again, we're going to grab the variable. Last name. The phone number, we didn't ask for it. The position, we didn't ask for that. And we didn't ask for any of these, neither the website. So we can go ahead and save it. And that integration is ready. Now, what's going to happen, like I mentioned before, when the trigger is triggered from a job form submission, it's going to send the information through this web hook and it's going to add that contact automatically to our email campaign. Now, that's just one of the many things that you could do with this integration from Proudly Connect. There's several more integrations and more steps that you can add. You could do several things in one single submission. So you can add them to your email marketing service. Plus, you can go ahead and let's say you can send out a Telegram bot like a message if you like a Slack. Hmm. So many applications. You could say, for example, let's say Slack. Whoops. Slack. OK, let's add Slack. What, we, what can we do with Slack? Well, we can send a message when you receive a submission, just in case that you're always checking out your Slack. Well, it's a pretty good thing that you can watch it here. Um, what could be a really good use case? Let's just say that your company is based on Slack, like people are there, your team members and all of that. How about if we send them a direct message, send channel message? OK, let's just say that someone fills out the form and they say they didn't like the service. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Publish, open a new tab. Let's just say that if someone says that they didn't like your service, how about alerting our Slack channel that, hey, someone didn't like our service. Let's see what's wrong. OK, let's contact this person and find out what happened. OK. So how can we accomplish this? Well, we're going to add a little filter right here. Let's add the filter after the web hook. We can add this filter right here and we could say, you know what? If from the web hook that we received from dot form, if this option, do you like our service is equal to, for example, no, then we're, we're going to continue. Oh, the condition is false. Why is it saying false? Because it says yes for now. That's a test that we ran. But if, sort of, for example, if I change it to yes, we'll go send it again and I'll say successful. OK, there we go. Success. But in this case, we are going to use no because that's the way it's going to continue. OK, so what's going to happen if the form that they fill out, they say they didn't like our service, it's going to continue to the next steps. In this case, it's going to continue to automize and the Slack notification. So how is this is going to work as a filter? If you wanted to, yes, add them to the the automize system. Well, we're going to remove this from here and we're going to add it on the step that's next. So even if they say yes or no, it will be added to automize. But the filter will continue after that. What, what's the filter again? What we said, 
if it's equal to no let's go ahead and save it it'll continue so the way I have it set up right now is that when someone fills out a submission, it's going to send the information with a webhook. It's going to add it to our marketing service and it's going to use the filter. The filter, if they say that they do like the service, it's going to stop. Nothing else is going to happen. It's just going to be added to our email marketing service. But if they say no, it will continue to our Slack and it'll send us a message to alert the team on our channel that something is wrong. Okay. That's a pretty good use case that we can use. And like I mentioned before, there's several integrations that you can use with Public Connect in case that integration is not available directly on JotForm. There's tons of integrations available on JotForm, but in just, in, just in case it's not, well, there's that option to use Public Connect to further extend the reach of your integrations. Well, there you go. I hope you like this video and we'll see you on our next tutorials.